Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, reading 2 Kings chapter 6, starting at verse 8. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such a such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of, and saved himself there, not once nor twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet that is in Israel telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And a servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he, he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Pat's, Pat, Pat's two cents. Take that as your word. They that be with you are more than they that be with the enemy. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Okay, let me move on. Okay. Verse 17. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Now I'm going to stop there because the main thing I wanted you to see is how much reinforcement you really have. God has an arsenal that we can't even fathom and it's there for us. It's there for you, for me, for God's children, God's people. Whom shall you fear? Hmm? The Lord is my refuge and strength. Whom shall I fear? Anyway, I'm not going to get into it because I'm going to misquote it. You have no need to fear. I know it seems very intimidating when people who have more money, more power, more clout, more everything than you is coming against you. But God, if he is for you, who are they to be against you? They're nothing. They're dust in the wind. When it comes to God. And if you're in God. And God's in you. Then don't worry about a little dust baby. God's got cleaning folks to take care of that. He'll send his angels to go and, and uh, you know, dust everything off. And you'll be just fine. I'm trying to make light of it. I'm trying to bring humor into the picture. I wish I could do a cartoon. 
because sometimes we get so encumbered with the cares of this world we forget who our daddy is who is your daddy we forget but if you remember who your father really is God can open your eyes and you can look around you and see the reinforcements you will be shocked to see the arsenal you have pulling for just you because why because God loves you that much you're worth it you are worth all of his efforts but you must wait on the fullness of time wait on the Lord be of good courage Wait, I say, on the Lord. He will not let you fall. He will not let you fall. He is never weary. And he will not let you fall. 